Hi and welcome back to my channel, Out The Dog House. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on perch work and pivots. So I'll be sharing with you three simple games on how to get started. So all you need for these games to begin with is some kind of target raised um, item. So I've made my own perch here using an old biscuit tin. I've just wrapped that up in some yoga mat and secured that with some tape. It is looking a little bit worse for wear now, um, but I can easily restrap some more uh, yoga mat around that. So that is all you'll need and a bowl of some treats of your choice. So ideally you want to vary those treats from low to high value. So I have three different kinds in this bowl for Chase today. Um, starting with the lowest value being just some of his dry kibble food. Medium value, I have some uh, kind of meaty little treats. And then high value being some chopped up sausages. So quite small pieces, so we've got plenty to work with. Um, and it'll make more sense as we go through the games as to why we have those varying um, value. So that is all we need to get started. So for game number one, we're gonna start by getting down on the floor. And we are, if this is the first time that a dog has ever been introduced to any kind of perch or target, um, we're gonna start by just placing that on the ground and encouraging them to step up if they don't do so on their own. So let me just mo move that here in view. So as soon as they look interested, come near the perch. If they're not stepping up yet, we can just reward any interest. Eventually, as I say, we wanna be encouraging them to step up, place the two front paws on that perch, and then we're gonna start by rewarding while they're up there. So the first game is really all about building value for being on this perch. So the idea is to target two front paws on the perch. Anytime that they do so, we wanna to look to reward that. So plenty of treats to begin with. And once we're really happy and comfortable that they know and they're happy to step up onto that perch, then as part of this game, we're gonna be throwing away a piece of low value treat. And then we're gonna encourage them to get it. And then hopefully they come back to the last place that they received a higher value reward, which was on the perch. So then we're gonna reward that with a higher value piece of food. And then we're gonna repeat this process. So throw away a low value piece of um, food. They should start to spring back and come to the last place that they were rewarded with higher value. Um, and then you'll start to realize over time and as you build up and practice this, they will be going and wanting to get back to the perch very quickly. So it should become a very quick spin. As soon as they've retrieved the low value food, we want them to be running back and trying to get back to the perch as quickly as possible. That's when we know that there's a lot of value and that they're happy to be on the perch. So that is what game number one is all about. And we wanna stick with this game for a couple of sessions, just make sure it, it'll um, help set the foundations for future games if they can be really happy and see a lot of value in keeping those two front feet on the perch. So I'm just gonna do one last one of these and then they're quickly coming back. Okay, good boy, break, break, good boy. Okay, so for the next game, we're gonna build up, as I say, once they're really comfortable in keeping two feet on the perch, we're gonna build on that with a stay. So I'm gonna introduce the perch again. Straight away, you can see Chase has put his two front feet on that. I'm gonna start by rewarding. And then if this was the first time I was playing this game, then I'd be looking to slowly act as if I was stepping away. I might not even step away as that may encourage them to come off. So even if you just have the intention, so maybe just a small arm movement or move of the foot, if they stay exactly where they are, then we wanna be rewarding that. If they are moving off with us, maybe we go back to game one for a bit more and build value into keeping those feet on the perch. Okay, so the idea of this game is we wanna be able to move away and the dog keeps those two feet secure on the pivot. Then we wanna move back and make sure we're rewarding in a really good position here. So if I was to reward, for example, over here, I'm encouraging the dog to actually step off the pivot, which isn't what we want. That'll kind of counteract the game that we're trying to play. So what we want to do is make sure we're giving that treat right close to the mouth there so they don't get lured off the pivot and that they can stay with those two feet on. And that reinforces the position that they're in. OK, so as we get more confident, we might start to move around a bit more, go into other parts of the room, and then we want to come back and keep rewarding them in place. Good boy. Break. Just gonna move this back slightly so you can see. Good boy. 
So I'm just going to move away and I'm going to reward for keeping those two front feet on. The way to build up and, and kind of challenge this game and take it up a level will be through duration and distance. So increasing the distance that we move away while the dog is able to keep those two feet on the pivot. So I may be going into another room, I may go upstairs and then come back and reward. The other way will be duration. So going into another room, increasing in five seconds, 10 seconds, then coming back to reward. If at any time the dog does break that position, that's okay, they're giving us feedback. Maybe we went a step too, <laughs> maybe we went a step too quickly. So we're just gonna make that a little bit easier, build up the confidence, make sure they know what's required of them, and then we'll be building that back up again. Okay, so that is game two. Good boy. And the final game um, using this perch is pivots. So this is probably the most challenging out of the three and something that just take a little bit of practice. But the idea being, as you step towards the dog, the dog's natural response is to step away. So we're kind of utilizing that and um, gonna encourage them to turn around on the pivot, keeping those two front feet on the target. So for example, if we start facing each other and I start to step towards the left, then Chase is naturally gonna spin around towards the right and I'm gonna reward for him keeping those two front feet on the pivot as he did so. On. And then in the same way, if I start to turn to the right, you can see he's spinning in the other direction. So we want plenty of reward for doing that. And as you can see, we can eventually do a full spin and keep those feet on the pivot. So that's what we're aiming for here. The final way to kind of advance this trick, and this is really useful for loose lead walking as well. So we're gonna be reinforcing the dog for being in the reinforcement zone, which is next to our hip in the heel position. So if I just encourage him to come on to the heel position, so if I have a bit of treat and lure him round into that perfect heel position. And then what I can do is try and get him to switch to the other side. So I'm gonna go switch. Good boy. You see how we went in opposite directions and ended up back in the heel position there. So I'm gonna go switch. Good boy. So this does take a little bit of practice, but once they get the hang of it, the idea is that they're keeping those two front feet on the pivot. So we're not only building value and reinforcement in doing so, we're also creating this reinforcement zone. So they're getting rewarded for being in proximity, which again is really great foundational skill work for loose lead walking. Let's try that one more time. Good boy. And then once the dog's really comfortable in that movement, we can start introducing cues like switch. Good boy. Good boy. That is today's video. There are three games to get you started with perch work and pivots. Let me know how you get on in the comments below.